Dream became reality for a Vietnam veteran. Certainly did. Marine pilot John Brees is 80 years old and he wanted to take the controls and fly again. There he goes. John Chapman tells us staff at the retirement community where the veteran lives were able to grant his wish. This isn't the first time 80 year old John Brees has looked over his plane before takeoff. I think it's nice. It's an airplane. Airplanes have always been a big part of John's life. When he was 23 years old, he was a Marine pilot serving our country during the Vietnam War. I was a crew on a, one, a KC-130. Where, uh, it's a uh, multi-purpose airplane the Marines used exclusively. And the, the one that we flew was uh, built special for the Marines. And it was used for air refueling. Airplanes and flying continue to be a big part of John's life after the war. But years went by and that all changed. So anyway, after I had the stroke, then I couldn't, I wasn't able to fly anymore. John wanted to get up in the air one more time. His new home, Crown Point Retirement Community, made that happen. Staff at Crown Point started a new program for their residents called Tree of Dreams. This program is designed specifically to allow us to uh, get our residents into a position to fulfill the dreams that they've either never had the opportunity or would like to complete again. For John, his dream came true. Got a headset plugged in there for you. He's back behind the controls and once again taking a plane up into the sky. And finding out his passion for flying never left. An airplane gets quiet and it's just, you're just smooth and quiet and you're sitting there and it's a euphoric feeling. You just feel just something comes over you and it just takes any stress or whatever, just drains it away. John got another chance to fly. He took the controls. He wasn't happy with his landing, but he was very happy with the overall experience. Well, it's fun. It's just absolutely fun. It kind of breaks up old memories and uh, makes me, uh, <laughs> Makes it long to get back at it. John walks away today with another flight and another completed mission and a dream come true. You ready to fly again? Yeah, I'll go right now. On your side in Omaha, I'm John Chapman, 6 News. True passion. Great story there. Now, staff of the Crown Point Retirement Community tell us they have about a dozen other residents waiting for their dreams to come true, ranging from riding a motorcycle for the first time to attending a Broadway play. I'm glad we were able to cover that. It's a great story.